today something really cool is going to happen. Uh, it's pretty rare when we don't have a, a manufacturer's car to drive something really cool. And in that case, I hook up with one of the museums, in this case, the Murphy Automotive Museum. We're going to get something really awesome. You ready? The dogs are ready. It's pretty rare that we don't have a cool car to drive, uh, seeing as how we're driving a cool truck right now. But today, as I mentioned, we're going up to the Murphy Automotive Museum, uh, run by David Neal, and he has a, an amazing collection of cars. So uh, he just said that come on up and grab something, which is what we're gonna do. But we're also gonna feature another vintage trailer because there's so many cool things. If you could take any car from that museum, which one would you take? There's a bunch of Corvettes. Um, as you may or may not know, Kathy's been Corvette girl. She's had several. Which ones have you had? 58. Yeah. A 63. And an 84. That's all. Yeah. And some of the best pictures were the pictures with the hoods up. That's not true. the weekend, uh, Memorial Day weekend, and as a result, lots of people come out to Melbourne. We've already seen uh, two accidents. Yeah. One, uh, actually it was, it was one accident and then they were airlifting that person. Right, out at Zuma. Out at Zuma. And now we're up at, uh, at Northern Malibu, uh, way up where the Point Magoo Rock yeah. is, and there <coughs> seems to be another accident and we're stopped. Unless it's a rock slide, big sir. Could be a rock slide. You never know. It's like it's open now. It's open. There's the turn. We're moving. Our trucks are there leaving. It it's a stunning day here. And um, maybe and we it's have a sinkhole. <laughs> a Malibu sinkhole where you sink right into the ocean. Well, then how come we can drive on it now? So that doesn't make sense. It, well, it only sunk so far. A quick tsunami? Yeah. Tsunami sinkhole. It gets better by the second. Yeah, there's ships out there. What do I need to know? I was trying to make sure that I don't miss anything. All right, that's the stereo, right? That's good, I need to know that. What is that, that is that the shift knob? Okay, that's the shift knob. That's the steering wheel, good. What else do I need to know? What's, what is that? What is that? They're off-roading. Oh, but that's for off-roading. And what do these do down here? What do, what do these do? Pedals. Those are pedals, okay, I got it. I think I can drive it. I appreciate every, all your help. Inside the Murphy, come here, you. Uh, we're we're here to pick up that amazing Wagoneer, the Jeep that's out there. However, I see a Corvette. There Let's is a get Corvette. Uh, okay, we're gonna grab we're, that Corvette. Can we switch that. <laughs> but we're also gonna cover this trailer right here. This is called a Hanson. We're gonna find out more shortly. But let's go look at the Corvette. Okay.
comes with a uh, special person in it. That's you. Do you think it comes with a toilet? Well, yes, it does. In the closet. It's cozy. back at the Murphy Automotive Museum with the extremely handsome and extremely tall David Neal. Uh, you have a lighting company too, don't you? I do. So my real job. Yeah. Neal Lighting. Neal Lighting and Control. I checked you guys out. You, you got, did? Yeah, you got some cool stuff. You like our website? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. So Good. if you need some lighting for maybe a trailer or, you know, or anything else, yep. uh, this is the man. Um, tell me about this handsome. It's, it's the Love Bug trailer. They're building in Southern California. Uh, started in, uh, this is a 52, sorry, started in 1948 and in the late 50s they were bought by a company called Kinskill, which a lot of people in this hobby or otherwise have heard of Kinskill, they're very famous. But the thing about these traders, they're very small and compact and they look like a piney wood cabin inside. Mo most of this size don't necessarily come with a bathroom, but this does. Uh, you know what, is it a bathroom or a chamber pot? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> It's a bath pot. Yeah. <laughs> what do they say that uh, necessity is the mother of invention or something like that? Exactly. Yeah, so when you're camping, it's always a good idea to have some way to not have to run down to the Yeah, I, I had a little Chemical bit of stress toilet. thinking about, okay, well, how do you do it? And then I saw that and I suddenly was relieved. Yeah. Yeah, in a variety of ways. More, more ways than I one. didn't use it, though, so it's fine. Good. <laughs> well, so this trailer has lived with us for a couple of years. It just got sold. The new owner actually wants to keep it here. Oh, good. So it's, in essence, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. It actually happens around here. Things become for sale. Yeah. And people find out about it and they buy it. The transaction is done, you know, wherever it's done. And but then the, but the article here. actually never leaves. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. So, and this is, this is also something that I really like about the Murphy as well. So if you have a classic car, something really cool, and you want a great place to be able to store it that isn't just in a garage somewhere, Mm -hmm. uh, because this, the museum is open from time to time, mm -hmm. so people can peruse and yep. look at things. Uh, that's the nice thing about having the car here, or a trailer, or even a boat. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you don't want to display here? Uh, as long as it is uh, metal, glass, paint, and fumes. Okay. We'll Good, because I have a semi truck that we can park. We'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, thank you for helping me out with the with the Jeep. You're you're quite an expert. You just have to decipher what he's saying, I'm not really sure. <laughs> So something is happening now that Kathy didn't expect. But see what happens when you love Corvettes? Well, are you saying they're giving me this car? They're giving you an opportunity to ride in this car. <laughs> right there. He got it restored, brought it from the restoration shop here. And it's been here for about a year because then he started working on his Excalibur. Ah. So he's swapping out This the is the gentleman with the Excalibur. Right. How are you? Fire fireball. Hi. Hi. All right, you're taking my wife for a spin, so don't let her push you around.
right, Kathy took her spin. They just got back. They parked way, way back there. Don't know why. But I'm pretty sure she had a good time. Let's go find out. <laughs> Um, I had one of these in high school and I had to sell it when I was going to uh, college in order to oh, that's finance it. <laughs> and uh, so the first thing I did when I got a job was start looking for it and I, I bought it in 1975. You haven't driven it in about a year or so? It's, it's been here for the last year. I was working on another car in Excalibur and unfortunately I needed the, the room so I wanted to share it with other people awesome. and put it in the uh, museum the, the for the best last thing year. about this place. Have you done anything special to this car? I've completely made it original on the outside mm -hmm. and then the interior we put a brand new uh, crate 350 engine in it, a four speed and a nine inch Ford rear end. <laughs> <laughs> we won't tell anybody. <laughs> The paint alone costs a thousand dollars a gallon. playground. What an incredible place to go and hang out, do fun things with cars, share that passion that you have for cars. I mean, you could store your car in any number of, of warehouses or garages or things like that, but the Murphy Museum is unique. And it's unique because uh, you, you can store your vehicle there as long as you're vehicle is cool but at the same time the museum is open and and people can walk through and and you get a chance to share that thing that you love so much with a whole host of people and that of course swings way on around to today's thought which is about giving I cannot stress enough the idea of giving the importance of giving spectacular fulfillment of giving when you do what you love on consistently on a, on a daily basis, then then all you want to do is to be able to share that thing. It's kind of like taking a trip around the world and you do it all by yourself, and then you got to kind of tell everybody. It's nice to meet people along the way and just be able to share that experience and give to each other your your experiences, your your perspective of the world. And as you know, what you know, our our job here is to help improve your life through what you love. We're trying to inspire you. You got you got to get out there. You got to get out there. You got to drive. You got to go to these places. You got to experience the world. Big thanks to David Neal at the Murphy Automotive Museum, a spectacular place uh, to be able to go and experience some of these cars. Cars are coming in, cars are going out. And there's opportunities to do all kinds of really great things. I love it. I love it. It's awesome. It's an awesome place to hang out, but there's plenty of places just like that that you can hang out, not only in, in our town here in Southern California, but wherever you are, there's amazing things going on. You just have to search for them. You have to decide, I'm going to do this thing, and then you got to take steps to make it happen. Don't be a fuddy-duddy. 
get off your ass and go do it. We're here to help you guys improve your life. You know, go out and, and do what you love. Have a good time. Put a smile on that face. Turn that frown upside down. Give love a chance. Or, or just go get some ice cream. Put love out into the world and love comes back to you. And that's all I have to say about that. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.